Hi, I'm Alon Baron, and thanks for joining me for the first update of the new financial year. It'll take a month or so to get a full picture of last year's results and figures, but Sydney house prices grew 13.1% over the year to the end of May, according to data collected by the Domain Group, and the median house price now sits above 1.15 million. Both the federal and state government have made changes to housing legislation to improve housing affordability, focusing on helping first home buyers, tightening on foreign investment and incentivising downsizers. For first home buyers from July 1, the, the changes are as follows. Abolish stamp duty on all homes up to 650,000. Give stamp duty relief for homes up to 800,000 and abolish stamp duty on lenders mortgage insurance. The savings on a $650,000 home for a first home purchase versus foreign investment purchase is a change of about 200% more for foreign investors to buy in Sydney. For foreign investors it will become more expensive to enter the market with the surcharge on stamp duty doubled from 4% to 8% and surcharge on land tax from 0.75% to 2%. Investors of any kind will no longer be able to delay for 12 months paying stamp duty on off the plan properties and there'll also be an additional $10,000 first homeowners grant for new home buyers. This month my team has new properties coming to the market and going to auction in Northbridge, Castle Cove, Cremorne Point and North Sydney. Check for details on my website below and I'll report on the sale prices next month. All the best for this month and let me know if I can assist you with anything. Thanks very much.